I want to show you this type of integrals that you need to be able to do them in your head because if you don't, then calculus 2 is going to be impossible because there will be just so many steps involved. Too many steps. So let's take a look at the example first. So let's look at the integral of cosine of 2x. And of course, because I'm explaining, so I do have to show you guys all the steps for now. And I'll show you guys how to do this one in your head, all right? So we will start by taking u sub, let u equal 2x, and we see du is just going to be 2dx, and divided 2 on both sides, we get dx being equal to du over 2, right? du over 2. Now we can take this integral to the u world. So we get the integral cosine, and the input is 2x, which is just the u, and the dx is just du over 2. And because here we have 1 over 2, it's just a constant multiple, so we can put that on the outside of the integral. 1 half, and now focus on the integral of cosine u du. And the way to integrate this is that we will have to ask ourselves, the derivative of what function will give us positive cosine u? And the answer for that is positive sine u. The derivative sign gives you positive sign, right? Positive cosine. So we have this one half right here, and this right here is just going to be sine u. And we know u is equal to 2x, so we can just save one step by putting the 2x down right here. And we are all done. So we can put a plus c, and uh, this is it. But as you can see, this right here is seriously a lot of steps. If you want to do this kind of integrals by showing all the steps every single time. No, it's, it's just not preferred, right? This is how you should be doing this kind of integral. So I will do that right here for you guys. All right, check this out. When we see cosine of 2x, the inside function is 2x. Ask yourself, the derivative of 2x is equal to what? It's just a number 2, right? There's no x, it's just 2. In that case, we can do the following. Go ahead and integrate cosine, and the answer for that is positive sine, right? So we can just write down positive sine. And the input stays the same, just write that down. But we will have to look at the derivative of 2x, which is the 2. And because we're doing the antiderivative, we will divide by 2. So we have 1 half sine of 2x. And then we're done. So put on the plus c. That's it. This is not magic. It's just you substitution in your head. Especially if the input function is just a constant the derivative. So let me show you guys a few more examples, then you'll see how this goes. So let's look at number 2. Let's say we have the integral of e to the 2x dx. Well, the derivative of 2x, yes, is the 2, right? So we can do the same thing. Integrating e, and you treat this as a u, because that's exactly the reason behind this. e to the something, just integrate that. You just get e to the 2x. But because the derivative of 2x is a 2, go ahead and divide it by that when we are doing the integral, when we are doing the antiderivative. So it's the reverse chain rule pretty much. That's it. All right, let's look at another one, number 3. Let's look at the integral, and this time, I'm not going to use 2 again. Maybe let's say we have a 4. Let's use 3. 3x minus 1 dx. Okay, here we go. 4 is just a constant multiple. We can put that in the front, so we can write down the 4 right now. And then you see, this is just 1 over u, if you let u equal to the bottom. The derivative of 3x minus 1 is just the number 3. So just go ahead and integrate 1 over u, which is going to be ln absolute value of that, 3x minus 1. But the derivative of 3x minus 1 is 3, so go ahead and divide it by that, so I'll put that over 3 here. So the answer is 4 over 3 times ln, absolute value of 3x minus 1. And we are done. Plus c. Done deal. Yeah, just like this. It's not so bad. Right? It's not so bad at all. Alright, give you guys another one. Let's look at the integral. And do you guys remember how to integrate tangent? Tangent of, let's say, 5x. Well, how do we integrate tangent? I will have to remind you guys uh, right here, somewhere. 
<laughs> but I will tell you though, as a reminder, when we integrate, let me just write down the answer for you. When we integrate tangent, that's just a standard result. You should remember that as well. We get ln absolute value secant. And because the derivative of the input function is just a 5, it's just a number, so you can just write down the 5x chip right here. But again, the derivative of this is a 5, so go ahead and divide it by that. And that is it. If there's no 5, of course there's no 5, so yeah, that's ln secant, just like that. And we're done for this. So, bad idea. So, this is it for that, right? Okay, number five. It's a special one, just for you guys. Let's take a look at the integral e to the x squared dx. Because we love to integrate e, and we love to integrate, differentiate e as well. How do we do this? Well, e to the something is still e to the something, so go ahead and put that down. And the derivative of this is 2x, so let's go ahead and divide it by that. And uh, of course, I remember my plus c. But is this correct? No, this is not correct. This is not okay. Because the derivative of x squared is 2x. It's not just a number, right? So you cannot do that. If you're not convinced, then I'll show you. The way you check is, if we differentiate this, differentiating, I can put that on the top, e to the x squared over 2x. If the derivative of this gives us e to the x squared, then this will be the answer. But let's take a look at the derivative. This is the quotient, so be sure we use the quotient rule. Go ahead and square the denominator, 2x squared, and put the denominator up times the derivative of this, which is e to the x squared, but don't forget the chain rule, the usual way, right? Multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And then continue, minus the top function, which is e to the x squared, times the derivative of the bottom, which is uh, 2. Do you really think that we can really simplify all this and end up with that? We can try, but let me just tell you, no. No matter what we do, this does not simplify just to be e to the x squared. The truth is, this integral right here actually has no answers in terms of elementary functions. Maybe that's a topic for another video. For now, just think about this as no answer. So yeah, that's it. And again, the reason is because the derivative of x squared is not just a constant. So don't do that. If you need more help with integrations, you guys can check out my other videos and also subscribe to the channel for future videos. And as always, that's it.